Hello everyone. How are you doing today? How is life treating you generally? Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm still your friend, the Nedo woman. If you are joining us for the first time, you are highly welcome. Please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also tap on the bell beside it so that whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified about it. Okay. To my existing subscribers, I really appreciate all of you. Remember, I don't take you guys for granted. Thank you for keeping me here. You are the reason I am here. You are the reason I have not given up. Thank you very, very much. So today we are going to be making, it's a very quick one. We're going to be making um, a captain dress with a v-neck collar okay the color is going to come with the cutting the sleeve also is coming with the cutting let me see if i have the video here oh it did not come out well i don't know if you will see it it didn't come out well. Maybe I'll try to pin it on the front of the video. Okay. So I'll be using three yards of this fabric for it. I tried as much as possible to get a fabric that can come out well. Exactly what is on the picture. Okay. This is um, a Duchess fabric, but it's very, very light. And I would have folded it this way. But because the length gave me what I want, I'll be using the length like this. I'll be cutting the back first of all, then with the back, we'll cut the front. Okay, so quickly, I'll be folding just into two since I'm cutting only the back. I'll try to make sure that I don't spend much time or make the video very long. And in doing that, whenever I am trying to arrange my fabric well, I'll try to pause the video okay so here it is like i said the shoulder is together with the sleeve okay so the determining factor in folding this is the shoulder once you get the length of the shoulder you want every other thing will definitely be enough okay the shoulder i'm working with is 38 inches remember i said this with the sleeve that's why it's 38 inches divided into two is 19 but I have here 21 inches because I want the fold at the hemline here at the hem of the sleeve to be a little bit good, at least one inch. Okay. What we'll do next will be to measure the bust line, waistline, hip line because it's not going to be straight. We have to put a little bit of fit into it. So the bust line is... Thirteen inches. The waistline is seventeen inches, and then hip line is nine inches below the waistline. Okay. I'll just make it into a straight line. So we now have the bust line, waistline, and hip line. Okay. Now to each of the measurements, that is bust measurement, waist measurement, and hip measurement, I added two inches extra. Okay. It is not the sewing allowance. I added two inches extra to the body measurement. Okay. Now the bust is 40, um, 44 inches. I added 2 inches, making it 46, divided into 4 is 11.5. Waist is 40 inches. Again, I added 2 inches to it. It's 38, but I added 2 inches, making it 40. Into 4 is 10. 
the hip again I added two inches 51 into four is 12.75 okay this like I said the two inches I added is not for sewing allowance all right so now I'm going to be adding um, two inches to all of these measurements as the sewing allowance okay Okay. Remember, there is not supposed to be any sharp edge. Okay. So now going to the neckline, I place three inches for shoulder slope. The truth of the matter is that for this kind of fabric, you don't need shoulder stuff because on its own is going to fall. As you mean I folded it the other way around, I wouldn't have put any cut at all. Okay. Now here at the sleeve, I come down by one inch. This is, um, okay. With that done, I'm going to put my normal shoulder, eight inches. On this 8 inches, I come down by just half an inch. I hope you understood what I said. Assuming I folded this fabric the other way around, I wouldn't have put any cut at all on this shoulder. It would have remained like that, okay? Because even without the shoulder slope, it will just slope on its own. So I'll connect this to this 1 inch here. Okay. So next width for the back is I'll use one and half inches. Oh sorry. One and half inches. Sorry, neck volume, one and half inches. Neck width three and half inches okay i'm just trying to be careful because this fabric is very very silky very very silky okay now for the round sleeve that is where the hand is going to come out through here i'll use Say ten and a half inches. Okay. Remember, I said the shoulder is nineteen inches. This is nineteen here. Okay. So I will come in by um one and a half inches, not from here. Okay, not from here, please. It's assumed now that the shoulder is like this. Oh, that the sleeve is like this okay so i'll just come in by say two inches and i'll keep it straight this is to ensure that when you fold this place the fabric does not short okay Okay, I hope you understood. This is so that when you fold your fabric like this, it doesn't short. All right. So now you will blend this part to join the bust. Okay. Now we'll move over to the lower part of the dress. And for the lower part, let me explain it because my table is small. For the lower part, I'm going to 
I'm going to take the measurement I have on the hip line, which is 15 inches. I'll take it to the hemline, okay? I'll mark it on the hemline 15 inches. Then I will add from the hemline one inch, half inch, quarter inch, and then it connects somewhere. Okay, so this is what I mean. I brought down the hip measurement here, 15 inches, down to the hemline, okay? And then here, at the hemline, I will extend it by one inch. As I come up, I'll just be reducing it. This is 0.75, this is half inch, this is quarter, so that it ends somewhere. Okay, the essence of this is just to make sure it is not straight. So the hemline is now wider than the hip, that's just the point. So I'll connect this one to the hip. I hope you get the gist. Hmm. Yeah. Hi. Okay, I hope you understood what we did now. So now, this is the measurement we are working with. I will just quickly cut everything. Okay, so now as I've cut it, the next thing I will do will be to reduce this part by one inch. And then I will connect it to this point. When I do that, I will then also remove it. <laughs> so with this now we are going to cut the front. Alright, so for the front, I will try to see if I will cut the two front panels together. But I'll have to explain it because of the nature of this fabric. It keeps messing with me. Like I said, we're going to be using the back to cut the front. And I'll leave about... Let me see. I'll leave about 8 inches gap as if I were given a zipper allowance, okay? About 8 inches. This is what I mean because I'll have to pause my camera to do this. This is what I mean. As if I was leaving a zipper allowance. What is going to be about seven or eight inches okay okay so like i said the fabric is so so tricky you won't believe how long it took me to do this arrangement okay so you see what i was saying this is the front and this is our uh, eight inches Okay, from neckline to hemline. I did not put any neck width or neck volume or whatever. It's still straight. Sorry, you're not seeing it. All right, I think you can see it better now. 
Okay, you see it is still straight. I didn't do anything. Okay. So now we are done with the cutting. Next will be to work on the front panel. I'm going to detach this. Look at our eight inches. So I'm going to mark continue to mark it down to the hemline. Then I'll use my um, ruler to draw a straight line to connect the neckline to the hemline. Hope you understand. I'll just keep measuring eight inches like this. Eight. Eight. I hope you get it. So I'll continue. When I get to the hemline, I'll then use my long ruler to connect the dots. Okay. So now clearly I've joined the 8 inches. You see it's now long. So you will have to then use your pin to hold these two front panels together. Okay. You just hold it along the line but give space for where you will sew. Okay, give space for where you will sew. You just pin it down, then you sew on the line. Okay, but before I sew, you have to decide how many inches you want for the V neck at the front. Okay, and I think I'm going to be using the um, nine inches, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to start my sewing from here. From this nine inches down then also at the hemline at the lower part of the dress you determine how many inches you want to use as the slit okay I'll take 22 inches okay I hope you are following so I'm going to sew from this nine inches here down to this 22 inches okay on the line Okay, here will be open, the upper part will also be open. Okay, so I've done the sewing. I'll then open here. And then you have something like this. Okay. So what I'll do next, I'll still go to the machine sew this upper part okay oh sorry i will show it like this please i would have said let me just start from the neckline but to bring confusion so i'm going to sew all small i'll just sew it do the same thing on the other side okay so i've done the neck this is how i did it i just felt that if i took everything from the wrong side this place might look somehow so i just took to where my shoulder slope started okay i turned it like this i stitched it to where my shoulder slope started i stopped there then i turned it over also and then concluded it i also folded the lower part so for the lower part you have something like this i already folded it I stitched the lower part, okay? So the upper part now will now look this way. This way. Like this. Okay? All right. So the next thing we are going to be doing now will be to now join the front and the back at this point, at the shoulder. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'll put the facing first for the neckline at the back. Um, how bold you want the facing or how slim you want the facing. Then you cut, leaving about quarter of an inch at this upper part. Okay. So 
So your can, your facing can be as wide as three inches, depending on what you want. But I'll be using two and a half inches. Two and a half. Okay. So I'll now go to the machine. Place it like this. Okay, front against front. And then I will sew. Open it up. Top stitch or under stitch, whichever one you call it. And then fold it inwards. Okay, so I've done the facing. I'll just use my hem gun to hem it firmly. Okay, so the next thing will be now to join to join the two at the shoulder. When I join them, I will fold this uh, sleeve. I will fold it. Then we'll come back for the pocket. All right, so I've. Join the shoulder and also folded the sleeve. Okay. And this is the shoulder. You see the way I did it. You know, I told you um, that I turned the front inside out. Stitched it to where I have the shoulder slope, where the shoulder slope started, then turned it and stitched it. So when I was joining the shoulder, I had to loosen that side where the uh, shoulder slope started. So that I did it so that um, the inner part of this facing will be neatly tucked inside like this. The way I'm explaining it, you may not understand, but if you want to try this style, and you do it when you get to this point you will understand what i mean so this is how i now stitched it and you can actually do it starting from the beginning okay you can actually forget about stitching this facing okay when you are joining at the shoulder you just do it the way you normally do your how do i explain it now the way you normally do your um band on the skirt that zip side you know there's a way you do the the taping at the zip side exactly that is the way you do it here okay when you finish you now turn it it gives you something like this so i think this is better next i'll do will be to remember when we were cutting i added two inches for sewing allowance so i'm going to go to the machine and close it at the two sides using the two inch inch okay i'll close one part first then we do the pocket before i close the remaining one okay so now i've atta attached one side okay so it's remaining this i've joined one of the two sides it's remaining one side okay now the pocket we are going to be adding it um say like five inches below the hip line five inches below the hip line i'll fold it back like this or i'll just measure from the neckline here this is my half length i always like to cut it so that i don't get confused my half length this is my my hip line okay so sorry five inches below the waistline pardon me please this is my hip line so we are starting from here five inches below the waistline please not hip line 
Okay. Okay. All right. And the length of the pocket should be maybe eight inches. Okay. All right. So this here is the other two pockets. I only used hem gum to hold the edges. All right. So this is how I'm going to be attaching the pocket. Remember, it is starting here. I already marked it clearly. If you can see it. Okay. So this way, if I take, let's say I took three inches here, I'm going to also take three inches this side, okay? Remember, it's not going to be this way, this straight. It has to be a little bit loose so that hand can pass through. I hope you understand. So if I say I'm taking three inches away from this stitch here, like so, this is three inches now. I will also do the same thing at the other side. Three inches. Just to create a balance. If I say it's three and a half, it will be three and a half on the other side. I hope you understand. So I'll just sew like so. Here. And then like this. I hope you understand. The lower part of the pocket will be, will be straight like this. But the upper part will be this way. I hope you understand. The lower part is straight. The upper part is a little bit brought together. I hope it's clear. So I'll go to the machine and quickly complete it. So like I explained, when I, fold, when I close the other side, I'll use the same measurement I put here at the other side to attach the pocket as well. Then I'll fold the hemline and we're done. All right, so I've attached the pocket and we've come to the end of the tutorial. Okay, sweet people, we've come to the end of the tutorial. You can check out what I'm wearing. Okay, I just decided to try it on. This is the end result your own um, this place can be wider than this okay all right thank you very much for watching till the end i really appreciate your time on my channel and if this is your first time watching please don't fail to subscribe before leaving and also tap on the notification icon so that once I upload, you are able to be notified. Thank you once again and take very good care of yourself. Till we meet in my next tutorial, don't forget to always be kind to people around you. Take care of yourself and bye.